بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد We thank Allah Almighty Subhanahu wa Ta'ala for granting us another opportunity to learn something new on earth Today is going to be an interesting topic since we are planning to celebrate our city Insha'Allah Ta'ala, we are going to paint the city of Nairobi at night for the beginners. And um, what you'll require is a mixture of color blue and black so that you come up with a navy, navy blue of the night sky. And you will require a ruler if you're not accurate with your brush. And I'll be going to use the flat brush to paint my city and you'll also need color black for the city and a little bit of white and yellow with that you will be ready to journey with me on painting our city Nairobi at night Bismillah after mixing black and blue I have the final product of the paint which is uh, navy blue or night blue and note that I will also be mixing or blending it with black to get the texture of the night darkness that I want remember always be neat always be clean and remember always to love your home. We here at Al Huda, we love Nairobi because it's home. It's where our station is located. Inshallah in future, we'll paint the city of Machakos, if it will be a city that is. We also paint Mombasa. We'll also paint Nakuru and Kisumu in the near future, inshallah. Today, let's start with Nairobi because it's the capital city. And remember, this is just simple tricks for a beginner, brothers and sisters, for them to learn how to come up with the painting of Nairobi. We really have some tall buildings in Nairobi. So as you can see, I'm mixing blue and black, blue and black, I'm blending. Those tall buildings are what we are planning to paint them today. So with that in mind, I'll just pick my bigger brush and continue to paint. Alhamdulillah. We are done with our night sky. Just as we did on the previous lesson, we're going to come up with the stars. Now we should be familiar with this. Then we will leave it to dry. Once it dries, we will continue from there with our skyline.
These are some tiny details of the star of the sky. So there will be no moon today, but definitely it will be a sky full of stars. That shall do it. So we will let our canvas to dry. As we allow we continue with our painting. So, which is the famous building in Nairobi? Mm. Which one? Oh, the money, the money building. The building that is on the cash of Kenya. So we'll start with KICC, which was the tallest building in Kenya, but now nothing lasts forever. It's no longer the tallest. So this is just an imagination of what Nairobi looks like at, at night. It's not the exact image of Nairobi. So we'll choose some buildings that we'll, we'll paint. And even the buildings won't be very accurate because this is just a learning process, steps for the beginners. So kindly be patient and follow the simple steps. I think SEC should start from here. So that's the top of my KICC. Let me extend it a little bit. Is it true that KICC? belongs to the government. I don't know. So, you should love your city, you should love where you come from, you should love your home, east or west, north or south, home is the best. So there goes KICC. Let's add some buildings around KICC so that it looks more beautiful. Shouldn't be lonely.
So a couple of buildings here. A couple of buildings here before we go to our next building. So what should be our next building? I was thinking of the Times Tower. Is it taller or shorter than KCC? <laughs> I think it's taller than KCC. It should be. Yeah, it is. Not too tall. Remember, these are just easy steps for a beginner student. Of just for anyone who appreciates arts. I'm using a flat brush so as to kind of get a, fl a straight line when painting the buildings. So we are done with KCC and the Times Tower. I used to think it's a big house when I was young just for clock but I grew up and I was enlightened it was dealing with something totally different from what I knew so what should be our next building um, I'm thinking of old mutual Old Mutual is taller than these two. So let's make here and you can sketch if you are not sure enough with your linings. I guess it looks like that, or something similar to that. You see, I kind of know Nairobi because I like Nairobi, because it's my city. So should you, should also love Nairobi. And all mutual is usually pretty at night. It's always it's always colorful. You can see it from afar and know that that is all mutual. Even its architectural design, it's very pretty, mashallah. So we should be proud of our engineer brothers who are in Kenya trying to put the skyline of Kenya into a top level, into another level. So that's all mutual. Let's put some small buildings here like um, Jamia Mosque. <laughs> There goes Jamia Mosque. Um, what else? 
And there goes um, the pump last. Cooperative. Which other building can we put here? Mm. I and them. You see, I know Nairobi because I like Nairobi. It's my town. Mm. I'm thinking of let's add something else. Let's add another building. Actually, maybe it's the tallest building in Nairobi. It looks similar to a building in the US, New York. So let's exaggerate a little bit and make it a little bit taller than the others because it's taller than the rest. There goes Mr. Britton. Some say this is the tallest building in East Africa. Some say no, it is the new GTC towers in in Westlands, but uh, let's go with G with with Britain. It's actually pretty. And here, let's add some some buildings. So this is our Nairobi city at night. Just a sketch of how Nairobi looks at night. So let's add some details. Because there are people who like to work at night. So let's light up these buildings. Let's start with KCC. So this guy who works at night. There you can see the bulbs. They're still at the office, even at night. Oh, they really like working. Let's put those red things to guide the pilots. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. So we'll just use a couple of yellow and white and red. The ones you prefer. So Allah says, Ujjalna nauma kum subata. Allah wants us to rest at night, even if it's a little bit. But uh, some people just like working overnight and night shifts. So there they are. Plenty of them. Even these buildings. Still, people inside. This is interesting. Uh, 
Let's go to Mucho. Old Mucho is very colorful. I wish I could have done something beautiful to Old Mucho. Before I proceed, most of the times Old Mucho kind of lightens up the night by displaying the flag of Kenya. So let's do so. Let's give Old Mucho credit for that. So we should have some red. Some green also. So it's already black. And some white. So let's make some green. If you're watching us from Tanzania or from Kampala, from Kisumu, challenge is yours. Paint your city at night and send it to Al Huda. Let's add some yellow on it. And Alhamdulillah. There goes Nairobi at night. This should be something simple and something also interesting for you to paint at home. Follow the simple steps, the simple procedures. You come up with a design in your mind of how the skies look at night. If you prefer it much darker, you can make it dark. If you prefer it much lighter, freedom is yours, you are the artist, then you can come up with the shapes of the buildings, if you like maybe to make a re, uh, to make the KCC much taller, there's nothing wrong with that, Bismillah, you can go ahead and be the artist and create your own imaginations. With this, this will be the end of our episode today, I hope it was interesting since we have painted our own city, our capital city of Kenya, which is Nairobi. Inshallah, we'll try to be more creative next time. Be prepared for a very entertaining and interesting episode of a landscape. Inshallah, on our next episode, we'll try to make, to paint a landscape of a sunset or a sunrise. If you want to know more, please don't miss out on our next episode. Inshallah, ma'asalam. وبالله التوفيق وجزاكم الله خير